Hey guys, today we are checking out one of Hope's most popular attractions, the Coquihalla Canyon Provincial Park, which is home to the Othello Tunnels. It has been closed since we moved here, and so it's finally reopened, and we invite you to come along with us. Well, let's go. The Othello Tunnels are located in the Coquihalla Canyon Provincial Park, just outside of Hope, BC, at the end of Tunnels Road. It's about a two-hour drive from downtown Vancouver. It's a fairly straightforward journey to get here, but I did find some of the signs a little bit confusing because there was like, Coquihalla Canyon Provincial Park. 200 meters and then nothing apparent. So I'm wondering if these are just little like entrances to trailways. We're gonna have to look into that a bit further. When you get here, right next to the parking lot is the Hope Nicola Valley Trail and the Othello P Tunnels is part of that loop, that big trail. This starting here will take you on the scenic route ending with the tunnels before you come back to the parking lot. Or if you want to see the tunnels first and then maybe or maybe not do the rest of the trail, continue to the end of the parking lot over here, follow the path past the outhouses and turn right and that'll put you onto the tunnels trail and then you'll get to see the tunnels first and then you can decide whether or not you want to continue on the loop. The loop is a 5.4 kilometer trail versus going straight to the tunnels from the parking lot it's about 700 meters. The park is closed during the winter months and open during the summer months. I don't know if you saw as we drove in but they have a pretty big parking lot so lots of room for lots of people to come see. It's a really popular attraction here and they had parking for buses and for RVs so don't be discouraged if you happen to have a big RV with you or a trailer you can still come and enjoy make it a pit stop on your road trip through BC. Safety tips for this park. Make sure to stay on the designated paths only. Carry a flashlight, the tunnels are dark. Don't climb over anything and don't go in the water. It's early spring and we're getting close to the water and we can just hear it roaring right now. So pretty dangerous, wouldn't recommend going in for a swim. Excavated mostly by pick and shovel. That's crazy. I got it. Want the treats? Benny's favorite snack is these pure snacks. This one happens to be salmon. They also have shrimp chicken and it's just that one single ingredient so that's why we love them you can find them on amazon we will link to them below check it out We're about to go into the tunnel. Are you scared? No, because I can already see the end. <laughs> There's several tunnels actually. Benny, are you scared? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, right, good. we're good to go. <laughs> Oh, I just got dripped on. These tunnels are a bit drippy. Pro tip, if you wear sunglasses, bring some regular glasses along for inside the tunnels. Oh, it's a really wet spot here. Did you get dripped on? Yeah, several times.
The sound of the water in this canyon is almost deafening, but it's so beautiful. What? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I'm just not sure. That's a lot of water. That is scary looking or like the wildest ride you'll ever have. This tunnel has a lookout. So what'd you think of the tunnels? I think that's really- I, I was asking Benny, not you. Benny? He's speechless. He's just so in awe of this engineering feat and the beauty of the tunnels going through the canyon. Really interesting to see how they built this all the way in the early 1900s with axes and shovels basically <laughs> and some rope it's pretty impressive so a fireman uh, on the coca grade might be required to shovel 24 tons of coal in a single shift and they only had eight hours to rest between shifts after the tunnels the path opens up into just a really nice treed area lush and green forest trail yeah, really nice for a walk. I think we'll just continue on this way for a while. Looks like there was a little bit of a rock slide here that they've since cleaned up, so I think this is why they closed the park in the winter. I think Mel found one of those paths that aren't really official and we're not really supposed to go on. It looks like it goes down to the river, or to the canyon, but I wouldn't want to go down to that water anyway, so it's pretty dangerous looking. We'll skip it for today. Let's go back. We're about a kilometer up the road outside the boundaries of the Coquihalla Canyon Provincial Park because I wanted to get some drone shots of the river. It's early spring and it's running really high, so let's see if we can get some drone shots here. Well, that was just a nice little visit. We got to see some beautiful scenery. We got to learn about some interesting history about the area. Absolutely, and it's a pretty nice walk. Uh, fairly accessible, it's not strenuous in any way. It's just a nice forest trail. So if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more hiking and RV and adventure videos, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. And in the meantime, keep, keep on, on living, living the, the life you've, you've imagined. imagined. Benny, what do you think of the, of the canyon so far?
And do you think it was an interesting engineering feat? Do you have anything else to say today? Well, that about wraps up Benny's opinion on the Coquihalla Canyon. I'm not You're ready. Alive. I'm live and I'm not ready to be live. Follow the path past the por the port houses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What else was I it? supposed to say?